Hello friends, Tankman Pat here. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to be walking around the house and there is a story to it, but you know, we're on a GoPro. We're going to try and make sure that it's not shaky. We're going to talk you through it. It's a bit of a fun video, a bit of an excitement, a bit of something different. It's not purely a review, but we're going to have a look at a real optical HDMI cable. Now there is a story over to it, like I mentioned. I get sent a lot of emails to review a lot of different products. Uh, a lot of the time it might be something really sort of boring like a cable. And this time around they said, hey, do you want to review a HDMI optical cable? And I was like, uh, well, you know, no. <laughs> but then I had a change of heart. I said, guys, send me the longest HDMI cable that you have. And they said, Okay, sir, we're gonna, we're gonna check. We're gonna check what we can send you. And you know what they managed? They managed 30 meters. So what we're gonna do today, I've got an Nvidia Shield in my pocket because it's tiny, it's beautiful. We've got a TV just over here and it's a 4K TV, it's a 4K Shield. This is a single directional 4K 60 and also 444 color range, whatever it is, cable. And we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how far it works. So we're gonna to go to the shed, we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna basically see if it works. Now, first of all, the NVIDIA Shield is going to the shed because the TV is kind of unmovable. But the main important thing is optical HDMI cables. They're active cables, which means that they actually work at a long distance and they only work in one direction, which also means that if you mess up something inside your roof when you're wiring up a really long HDMI cable, you're gonna be kind of stuck. You're gonna to have to reverse it or just maybe move the TV, whatever it is. This cable is very thin. It's ultra thin, ultra light, and the actual bits seem really good quality. Now this is made to order apparently, so I'm gonna put a link below for you guys to check them out. I am not being paid for this video, but they did send me this for free, so yeah take that with a grain of salt. I just wanted to see if this actually works. And that way you'll know if you ever need something, at least you'll know where to go. So, welcome to the shed that we're gonna put the actual NVIDIA shield in. Oh my God. Oh, ow. Ugh. It is so hot today. 30 degrees in Perth, Western Australia. So first of all, NVIDIA shield setup time. Let's do it. Here we have it here. It's very small, very tiny. That's why I chose it, because it is small and I can just sort of place it there. It is 4K and I can go, well, there it is. We're gonna power that on and then we're gonna run the actual cable through. Which, let's have a look at the cable. I think that's probably a big part of it. It's pretty giant actually and looks like really good quality. So let's grab one of the ends uh, and let's have a bit of a look. It's metal and it's ended really nicely. Got a bit of screw on there so you can obviously you know, tighten it up. So it's metal, it's pretty good quality. I actually haven't seen good quality HDMI cables for a while. Most of the time you can get them cheap and they work really well, like the actual cable quality is good, but the build around it is not. So this goes to the display. So we have to leave the other side here. So I'm gonna try and do this all in one hand. All right, let's unroll this and let's do it. Hopefully it stays up there. I want it to stay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Unwind it and see how far we can get. If it's even gonna. Ugh. One handedness. We've got 30 meters. I've never seen an HDMI cable this bloody long. Oh, there we go. I think I've got a, got a theme to it. I think I can undo it very well now. Now it turns out I overestimated how much 30 meters is. I thought it was more, but nonetheless, we're in the shed. It's exactly 30 meters away, or at least around the house. We've got our HDMI and we're gonna plug it into this 4K HDR TV and we're gonna see what actually works and what doesn't. Now, how are we gonna do that? Well, that's actually a great question. This is now very hot and powering on. I don't think you should keep your shield in the shed because I am sweating like crazy. In any case, it is now on. I don't know if I can control it. Probably won't be able to control it. But let's go back to the TV and see what's showing up. Now, one of the tests I wanted to also check is, well, I had a few kinks in the roll and I pushed it through a couple of things. Maybe it scratched on the side. I bent it a few times. Let's see how much survivability this optical HDMI cable has. Would you look at that? It's uh, working. It's working. Now, how am I gonna try and control this? I'm selecting the shield. Wow, the 
shield is in the shed, which is exactly around 30 meters away. At least the cable is. The Wi-Fi down there isn't particularly good, but hell, it absolutely works at 4K. It's set to 4K. It's set to HDR. The shield was set up before I plugged it in, and there you have it. It's working flawlessly. I gotta give them that. I thought there was a couple of kinks in that cable that just weren't going to let it survive. But this is absolutely incredible. You can now have a source or a device in another room, another part of the house, and stream high quality HDMI through an optical HDMI cable. This will let you do it for more than 15 meters. And you know what? Have a look at the link. I don't think it's particularly expensive for what this can do. So what's the use case? If you've got a projector, maybe even on the outside, on the deck, uh, in your patio, and you wanna, I don't know, put some tunes on, maybe some music videos, some movies when you're out there, when it's nice and hot and just have a beer, this could work. You could plug this into your computer, stream beautiful 4K. If you've got a TV out there and you wanna share like your Foxtel connection, then this is exactly what you can do. Just flick it on, put an HDMI switcher on if you want, but this can run long distances and 30 meters, bloody easy. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you to decide if optical HDMI cables are for you. There's a link below to the Amazon page. If so, I believe they also do custom orders. Uh, again, like I said, not being paid. They just send me one for free. It's a pretty good done product. It bloody works and it's a cable. <laughs> Can't go wrong, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in another one. Oh, make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and bye.